Hi, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to show you how to lower the fuel pressure in the fuel rail if you're going to be working on the engine um, and possibly disconnecting lines and a couple things that you're going to have to remember about disconnecting the battery when you go to work on a car. So let's go over to the trunk and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so after you take out, oh, the liner is somewhere around here. After you take out that cover and the, uh, the airless spare, or whatever you want to call that thing, you end up with the battery. And of course, this is your negative, which is the first one you're going to disconnect in a negative ground system, such as this car and most cars in the US are negative ground. The reason you wanna disconnect this one first, in case you don't know, is if you were to disconnect the positive first and while using your wrench or ratchet, hit it against here, because this is grounded to the battery, it's the same as shorting it out. So you don't wanna do the positive first, always do the negative first. But before we do the battery, we're going to go behind this panel and pull the, um, the fuel control uh, module fuse, fuel system control module, FSCM. And I'll show you what that looks like after I get that panel off. So there's a little piece there and then there's a small plug up on top that I got to take out. And then that panel just kind of moves to the side and I can pull that fuse. So while I'm taking these out, I was thinking um, about what the service manual said. So to relieve fuel pressure in the fuel rail, the dealer would just plug in their tool and command the fuel system control module relay off. All they have to do is just tell it to turn off and it would turn off and then they would start the car and let it idle for about 30 seconds and starve the engine of fuel. Um, I don't have one of those fancy $2,000 tools, so we actually have to pull the relay, which is, which is fine. It's just a pain in the butt to get to. I have to take out this panel, and I've already pulled that and the one up above, but in order to get to it, um, I need to take these out. So let me get all this out of here, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we're back behind the panel, and here's the uh, the box. So you can take the lid off there, and it tells you which one's which. So FSCM is this one right here. Of course, you have the spares and everything. need to disconnect this. This is for my NPP exhaust. Very similar to uh, the mild to wild, except uh, it's not. It's one that I made. I bought the remote from Amazon, exact same remote. Wired it a little bit different. I didn't wire it through the radio relay like what they wanted. I just used the existing. Anyway, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, so it's not a relay at all, it's the fuse, because this is the R2, so I need to pull this one. So that's the fuse, 25 amp, and that is 25 amp, okay, so that should be good. So now we need to start the car. Sorry for the little bit of noise in the background, the air conditioner is running. So a couple things I wanted to tell you guys, now that the engine's starved of fuel, I'm going to keep the fuse out because I don't want the system to repressurize a fuel system because it will. Um, but what I wanted to tell you guys is before I disconnect the battery, two things we have to make sure we do. Number one, don't ever shut the trunk. If you shut the trunk, you're not going to be able to 
get to the battery because there's no lock. You would have to crawl through the back seat and pull that thing to pop it in order to, to get back to the battery. The second thing has to do with the windows. <clears throat> so if you watch the window, see how it drops down? It goes up and down. So it's got a smart window function. And if the doors are shut and you disconnect the battery, every time you go to open the door while working on the car, you're gonna be forcing the glass out past the seal. It's really not good for it. The best thing to do is either lower them manually or just open both doors so they drop by themselves. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna open both doors here. There you go. Now the windows are cracked. Trunk is up. Fuel is de-energized. Now we're gonna take off the negative post. Okay, so now that the cable's disconnected, that can just stay right there. Now we can go ahead and shut the doors. You'll notice the windows stay down. So the windows will have to be recalibrated as soon as the battery's connected. It should give you a display telling you to roll the windows down and then roll them back up or something along those lines. Um, it resets the limits. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the fuse back in. For the fuel pump. And, uh, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the cover back on and put the trunk back together because it saves room in the garage. So I'm not gonna put it back together so nice, but at least put the stuff in here, get it out of my way. So anyway, that's self-explanatory. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and uh, hit the bell so we can let you know when we make other videos. And yeah, stick around, we got some things to show you.